Okay, so at this point, um, it just got done finishing the image, so we'll just close out of the white balance functions here that it applied, and we'll close out of the photometric color calibration. So at this point, our image has been color calibrated. Again, you can just click on stretch, and it'll do an auto stretch. Um, you may or may not see a difference, but um, it's basically just trying to to bring the colors of the image a little closer. So this is four. So the next thing we do is uh, the A Trous uh, Wavelet Transform. This is apparently, from my understanding, is this is the newer version of multi-median transform. Now, I still we're still going to use multi-scale median transform later in the video, um, but essentially, um, this is uh, uh, basically the the replacement of that. It's supposed to be the newer version. So I've already got some settings set in here. I'm not going to again. It's a 10,000 foot view. We're not going to dive into all this, but basically, at each layer, it does a little bit of uh, removal of data and cleans up the image and stuff like that. So, um, basically, um, all I do on here is I just drag this and I drop it on the image, and it's going to clean up some of the noise in the back of the image. It's you're going to probably not even see it. It's so minute. It's so little. Um, and I can zoom in and show you, but um, it, it, we're probably not going to see anything. So we have to look all the way into the image. So we're going to do a control one and zoom in. And then I'm going to go over here to a dark area and we're going to see this dark area. So if we go to the history explorer, we can go back to the photometric color calibration and step up a level. And it's stepped up. Now, I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, but if you go down and step back down to the to the wavelet transform, it did a very small change. It's so minute. It, it's that's what I love about PI. It's not like a, a smash and crash application. It goes in and does very minor uh, tweaks to the image and cleans up the image. Just very very little. Um, so that's kind of the uh, um, the wavelet transform in that tool. So um, that's kind of that breakdown. So um, with that, I, I I'll go ahead and just do the histogram because. I think it's, I want to try to keep these videos roughly around two or three minutes. So the next thing I do is the histogram stretch. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll hit the reset button here on the STF and this will take it back to the default settings and we'll close out of STF because we're done with it. At this point, I'll open up the histogram uh, transformation window and then um, I'll hit the check mark button so it can find the, the, the histogram of the color on here. And then we're going to take the medium and we're just going to drag it over. Oh, sorry, hold on. I always do that. Um, you want to hit the live preview button here, the, the real-time preview, and then we're going to drag the center and we're going to move it over. So it's going to lighten the image as we drag it, and there's our rosette nebula coming through. At this point, I'll scroll with my mouse, and you'll notice that this number goes up. So I'm going to scroll in with the mouse, and that number is going to go up so I can see more of the histogram, um, so I can stretch it some more. So. Uh, we'll stretch some more here. And what you're looking for is a color that you're happy with. Um, you know, and, and what you want to work with with the image. That's what I love about um, um, editing images is that it's all personal preference. And in here is the, the back point, so if you want to move up the back point, you can. Um, what you want to be careful of is you don't want to clip any of the data. So like if I move this back point, there's a certain point where it shows that now I'm clipping data out of here. You don't want that. Um, so um, you want to just kind of find the spot that you're happy with and kind of where you want the stars and what you want it to look like. Um, and we can adjust the colors. What we're looking for is just our basic stretch and kind of like where we want to start with the image. So. Um, I don't know. We'll, again, this is all personal preference. There's not a right or wrong way to do this. Mm, I think right there, maybe. I'll, I'll stick with that. That looks good to me. So you can just close out of the preview and then you just drag your histogram stretch and you drop it on your image. And at this point, the image is no longer linear. It is now a non-linear image. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, close out of this. I'm going to go ahead and save the project at this point again because I like to do that um, um, over and over again so I can just keep saving it just in case something happens or I need to go and do other things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save the project and we'll stop the video and then the next thing we'll do is we'll work through some more of this.